Good evening. Good evening, Higher Definition Radio viewers. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I want to say good morning, good evening, maybe good afternoon, depends on what time you're watching this. Um, please uh, join us again. Um, thank you so much for joining us, actually, um, for another uh, Thursday Thoughts and Thursday Thoughts with Dr. Melanie Goldman. Um, so uh, happy to have her on to do our Thursday thoughts. Um, very excited about this. Very excited to see what inspirational message she's going to bring us, what thoughts she's going to give us um, on this lovely Thursday morning, um, evening, afternoon, whenever you're watching. But um, she is not a guest to our show anymore. She is part of the HD family. So um, I will not uh, take over your Thursday thoughts, I will turn it over to the hands of Dr. Gallman and allow her to bless us with her great Thursday thoughts. Dr. Gallman. Good evening, everyone. I hope that you've had a marvelous day. As I would always tell everyone, I hope you made it great. Um, I, I thank Higher Definition for allowing me to be used as a, as a conduit through Christ one more time, delivering any uh, another great thought um, of inspiration to use and, and, and to get you through, uh, the next portion of your week and weekend. Um, but I really wanted, uh, to be a little transparent, um, because, you know, I, I wasn't expecting to be here tonight, but, um, I did want to be transparent, uh, to help you understand, um, how I was able to get to, um, a particular passage, Psalm 139. Um, the past few weeks, uh, I have personally been somewhat challenged um, as I've been moving into different directions, uh, mentally, emotionally, um, trying to change things within myself, uh, physically, um, as I said, mentally, and of course, releasing some issues that was laying on my heart, um, you know, just for repositioning. Um, and, and it has been challenging. It's been challenging because there are things that I had to make decisions about that I was no longer going to allow. And that was just not pleasing or even comfortable for me. So while one day just kind of sitting there and kind of thinking through my day and praying with God, um, he, he laid Psalms 139 on my heart. And I just want to take some time to read it to you. I'll read really fast. Um, but it says here, you have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me even the darkness will not be dark to you the night will shine like the day for darkness is as light to you for you created my inmost being you knit me together in my mother's womb i praise you because i am fearfully and wonderfully made your works are wonderful i know that full well my frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. For you saw, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. And I want to move down to verse uh, 23, where it says, search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way of me and lead me in the way of everlasting. For me, that was my assurance that I needed of how much God loves us and loves me and supports us and supports me. It reflects on, on the value 
on our value. It reminds us of God's faithfulness and, and that he is always with me. See, God would never let me or you go. He has, he's actually trapped us with his love. If, if you don't believe me, then try to look back at your past, just as I had to do, and, and, and tell me that he was not there to guide you. Or tell me that when you see your future, that you can't without the hope of his life being shown through you. He has trapped us in his embrace. And not only that, he has laid his hand upon us. This is the power and the authority of our God. We are his special children. See, verse six confirmed that when it says such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. What is even more wonderful is God's, God's faithfulness. As I said before, God will never let us go. We are his. Knowing that should, should just humble us because we are kept in his love. See, he is big enough. And I had to remember that, that he is big enough. We can't run, neither can we hide. He knows us inside and he knows us out. Why? Because he called us to be his. There's evidence in his word. When Jonah couldn't run far or when David couldn't get away with it, he that was just evidence that he will not let you go no matter how far you run or whatever you may be going through, you can't hide it in your heart. See, this psalm reminded me that we should cherish ourselves, take care of ourselves, and truly love ourselves. If anything, it has made me secure in him, even more secure, and, and helped me live in a life of, of, of heaven instead of hell on earth. See, with that being said, I knew immediately that I could not give up on myself or even the people around me. See, God is never overwhelmed with that stress. He's not overwhelmed with what I call that stress to be darkness. His light is more powerful than anything. And he can reverse all of that with his glory and his love. See, God is bigger than any sin, any stress, any doubt, any anxiety, and any power that the devil may throw or the enemies may throw at you. With all the distractions, with all the spiritual, spiritual attacks that, that I've been going through, I, I knew that I needed to, to speak with God. However, there was just some things that, that I was just not willing to, to, to speak about aloud. Partly is because I just didn't know how or what to say. But then when he pressed upon my heart, Psalm 139, and I began to meditate on it, I had to ask myself the question, why am I so afraid to speak out the truth to God about what is really going on in my heart? See, because he knows the deepest parts of my heart anyway. He, he just he was just waiting for me to just talk to him. See, when David said a prayer, here's what I kept hearing. And so what I kept hearing from him, I was saying aloud. And it says, search me, O God, and know my heart. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. See, David was crying out for deliverance and for truth to penetrate his being. And that is just what I needed. He wanted to be real in front of God and in front of the others. He didn't want to live in this bed of fire or this bed of hell any longer. He had had enough. See, David wanted to rest in truth that God's hand was upon him and that he was hedged by the love of God and by our creator. See, right now, I want to challenge you. And I promise you, um, you know, it won't be long, but I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you just as I am to rest in God's love and the thought that he is always thinking about you and he's always thinking about me. It gives such peace and joy and hope that during these challenging days and, and, and these days that are extremely hard, that he is there. 
See, my thoughts and inspirations for you today is for you to just not give up. Stay in the race and know that God loves you. See, Psalm 139 speaks deeply to who God is and who we are, reminding us of the intimate and personal nature of his involvement in our lives and the great value that he places on our lives. See, he planned out our life before we even breathe our first breath, before we even breathe. I know we have an amazing ability. I know that I have an amazing ability to make a mess of things. I, I know we can go down the wrong trails and make bad choices. Lord knows that I have. But I do not underestimate my own ability to mess things up that I don't trust his ability to make things right because his ability to make things right is far bigger. Just remember this, inviting God to search you and know, knowing us doesn't actually change anything about his searching and knowing. But what it does, it changes our heart position. Instead of trying to hide from God, instead of trying to cloak or hide your sins, how about asking God to shine his light on you so that we can live, you can live, I can live his way rather than our way. I thank you so much for your time. I hope that I didn't take much of your time, but when you do have time, meditate and, and read aloud Psalms 139 because it will make a difference and let you know that God is always there. He knew you before you were born. He knew you. He will know you in the end. You just hold on because it's not over. He got you. Thank you. Wow. Um, Dr. Gallman, thank you so much. Um, there you have it, HD viewers, our Thursday thoughts. Um, he knows you and he knows you better than you know yourself. I encourage you all to forward this message and share these Thursday thoughts, um, like Dr. Gallman said, to help you get through the remainder of your week. Um, read Psalms 139, read it aloud and ask God to search you um, so that you can find yourself because he is not lost. No way. Uh, he, he, he knows who you are. So allow yourself to be found in his word. Allow yourself to be found in his eyes. Stop hiding and stop running. Um, so uh, whatever time of the day that you're watching this message, please meditate on this and share this um, with our viewers, share it with your friends. Um, if there's anybody out there that needs anything, I am absolutely certain they will find it in this message. Uh, Dr. Gallman, thank you so much again. We truly appreciate your message. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is it for Higher Definitions Thursday Thoughts. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time. Good night.